This is Belgium's Thomas Dietrich, and watching this group, it's Wayne Riley. Hello, hello, hello. Just a straightforward little bump. Oh, that'll do the trick, Dom. Very nice there. And this is for an opening birdie for Thomas Dietrich. Good stuff from the Belgian. Dietrich second. Uh, two. Just looks like a little bit of a sitting duck with that ridge behind it. There, that pin today. And a great chance to come for the Belgian. There you go, just like that. A man who is a five-time runner-up on the DP World Tour. Looking for that first win. Dietrich, back on the team. Yeah, the line here, is, it's just to the building to the right of the dome, you can see in the distance. You can go kind of through that corner. That was not the plan for Dietrich. A lot of sand over that way. A little double crosser there. But he'll be able to play all the way down that left side of the fairway box. He no, no yeah, issues he at will. least. Third shot here at Dietrich. Uh, par five. Birdie, birdie start. This for three on the spin. That'd be a lovely start. Won't be far away. Yeah, I'll the shot. And another one goes in for Thomas Dietrich. That is three on the bounce. The hat trick to start his campaign here in a Raz Al Khaimah. Oh, Nothing wrong with it. Thomas Dietrich, middle of the par three green. Coming off a hat trick of birdies to start. That's bang on line as well. Just need a little more. Seems to be stroking the putts very well indeed. One three eight. Most players will just play it behind it. Understandably, a little pin not much short of it, downwind as well. Dietrich to move to four under. Not to be, but good start. Three birdies in a row to begin the day for Belgium's Thomas Dietrich. And he subsequently reeled off four pars. Ready to play from 15 feet. In the right half. Perfect there from Dietrich. Really is an interesting section of the golf course, kind of 9 through 12. There's uh, some real testers amongst it. Well, aim it between the flag which is left and that ball. If you finish right in the middle of the flag and that ball, job well done. Oh, even better. What about that? Serious precision there from Thomas Dietrich. It really was a wonderful shot in. You could argue he might have tweaked it a little bit because it was immensely aggressive, but it was the right club. It finished in the right spot and the putt does the business too. And he's putting together a cracking round of golf here. Thirteen, hand off the club for Dietrich, down the right-hand side. 
perfectly down the right half of the, yeah, of the hole. I don't know what he hated about that. That's uh, If only they all went there with your horrible shot. Well, exactly. Your bad ones finished there. You'd be quite, quite happy. He's got to win a tournament soon, Thomas Dietrich, surely. He's just got a little nudge from just over 40, just trying to land this just on there and release it back to it. It's been a while between drinks for Dietrich. That's a nice touch there. And this is the longest drive of the day for Thomas Dietrich. Only 2.05 left at the par five. Life's good. That's right, decent strike like that. Does he like it? That is the question. Yes, he does. So he should. So, oh, I was unlucky not to get a bit more out of that. He just struck it so well. He's been doing that a lot today. Playing. Blowing across this green now. Out of his left. So I might just want to hold this up a little. Well, it's not going to be an eagle, but it is going to be a very easy birdie for D tree. What a start to the back nine for Thomas Dietrich. It's blustery now. Hasn't dropped a shot so far. Thomas Dietrich, he'll be doing well to make his three there. So the run is going to stop. Four birdies in five holes to begin the homeward journey. But a four there at the par three, 15th. And he's going to slip back to six under alongside Veerman and Stone. Wind in two and out of the right hand side. She's a big old wide fairway. Takes a shank with a driver to find the Agua up here. But it truly is a magnificent hole with a estuary running up there with boats over there. And it's like Harbour Town. It opens up, doesn't it, Radar, once you get to the 18th tee? Yeah. The view today want that 18th 27 on three from the left side so you can see the breeze blowing a little bit that sort of white door on the right of the flag is his line sometimes if you're a little bit too close to the green you can't get enough spin on the ball and I think that was the case there down where that hole is just gets dragged to the fringe behind Dietrich's feet. Scored in clutches today, hasn't he? Three straight off the bat to open up, then four in five holes at the beginning of the back nine. Just the one drop shot, that came over at the 15th. And a par of the last, and it is an opening 66. So a good start to the week for Belgium's Thomas Dietrich. One behind the leaders, Heisler and Jameson. Thomas, congratulations on a terrific round of six under par 66. Easily the best of the afternoon starters. What do you feel was key to it? A uh, little chat with you on the golf course. <laughs> no, uh, it, it, I've been playing some really good golf the last months or so. Um, I had two strange weeks the last two weeks. Uh, miscut last week, which felt a little bit strange after after a game that feels in, in a really good shape. So uh, I got off to a good start, three birdies in a row, and then I was on a roll. The wind picked up a little bit in the middle of the round as well, so it was tricky out there, but managed to play the tough holes really well. Uh, birdie on 10 and birdie on 12 were, were key, so um, very pleased with the way I played today. 
There was very little breeze out there this, this morning. If it's the same tomorrow, you'll have the opportunity to build a lead. How excited about that? Uh, very excited about that. Tomorrow morning should be nice and soft and, and, uh, and good, smooth greens as well. So hopefully I'll be able to roll a couple of putts in. Uh, and I think, it, like you said, it will be a good opportunity to uh, extend the lead. As a Belgian, you'll be looking forward to the Soudal Open that comes up in May. You've got a very special honorary guest coming, I understand. Tell us about that. That's right. I think Mr. Nicholas is coming, uh, one of the greatest of the game. So uh, it'd, be, it'd be great, uh, I think, to meet him and talk to him and, uh, and have a little bit of his, uh, and hear a little bit about his story. And then hopefully we'll be able to have dinner together and, uh, and spend some time with him. Great plan today. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thanks. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.